In this illustration, we'll analyze the air trapped in a J tube. Here, the figure shows a J tube of which and A is closed and and B is open, and some mercury is filled in the tube so that initially levels of mercury in both arms are equal. Here, we can see, and some volume V of air is trapped in arm A, and the length is also given as twenty centimeter. And we are required to find the length of mercury column to be poured in arm B, so that volume of trapped air reduces to V by two. That means on the left side it will be raised up by ten centimeter. Atmospheric pressure is also given to us. So here in solution first we can start that initially. The pressure of air trapped is this pressure of air initially we can write as equals to P atmospheric because whichever pressure is here, the same pressure will be there on the other side, so air pressure will be equal to atmospheric pressure. And when we put some volume into it, I'll redraw the figure as this. Such that on the left hand side, this length of air column reduces to ten centimeter. Then in this situation, we need to fill up the tube additionally by some. Mercury column. So, if this was the initial level, where in arm A, the level raised up by ten centimeter, and in other arm, say it is raised up by a distance h centimeter. So here we can write one air volume reduces to V by two. Then its pressure will become P final, such that here we can write P initial V initial is equals to P final V final by gas law we are applying, and this will give as V final as V by two. Then P final will be twice of P initial. Which was the atmospheric pressure, and this given to us as seventy six centimeter of mercury. So here the final pressure will be two into seventy six, which is one hundred and fifty two centimeter of mercury. This is the final pressure of air in it. Now here we use Pascal's. Pressure equation from A to B. Then here we can write at A the pressure we can write is equal to one fifty two centimeter of Hg, which we can write as P final. Then it will increase by ten centimeter here. So we can write it plus ten multiplied by rho of mercury multiplied by g, and the same pressure will exist over here. And at this point, it can be written as minus h multiplied by rho mercury multiplied by g is equal to P atmospheric. So in this situation, if we substitute the numerical values here, rho of mercury and g. Can be eliminated, and all pressures we can consider in mercury height, like P final, we are given as 152 plus this is 10 minus H is equals to 76. This implies here we get the value of H is equals to 86 centimeter of mercury. So this implies we can write the mercury poured in arm B is 
here the amount of mercury we have poured is h plus 10 because this was the initial level up to which mercury was already there so the total mercury length which is poured here is h plus 10 that is equals to 96 centimeter and that is the result of this problem